uh, kind of like a, on the road as a show explaining the differences between PR and advertising. And, um, and now it seems And like then I just evolved into a marketing peer coach and consultant and uh, developed my own program and went for it. And I've never been happier because I'm also, uh, I niched myself different, I changed my marketing message, I changed my brand, I changed everything to champion women in business because I wanna tell you, I've seen it all. Mm -hmm. I've wanted to give up many, many times. Mm -hmm. I had issues with life balance. I lost many relationships. I was down in the dumps and I kept thinking to myself, what is this all about? Why am I doing this? Maybe I should just throw it all away and go get a job somewhere, you know? But there was a passion and there's still this passion burns inside of me to bring my entirety to other people. And that is why I have championed myself to making other women lead and succeed. I believe that in, in business, you have to choose, and particularly with marketing, which is hard. Most of us are not taught how to market ourselves. I've been doing this since I was a child. I made my life mission to study it mm -hmm. and bring it to fruition, and I've done so much of it myself. I mean, there's really no aspect of marketing I haven't even done myself for either myself or my own clients um, that uh, I can't teach somebody. Skywriting? Can you teach someone skywriting? <laughs> well, you, I can teach you how to get it in the sky, right? But that's why I created my process, and that's why it, it, it consists, uh, consists of turnkey tools, contacts, uh, you know, written materials, like everything you need. So you don't have to, you can choose imitation over, over innovation. You can be successful, and you can use my example and hard work to get you the same success, to catapult you and your business to the six-figure level and beyond. That is what my mission is about. And that's what I do in my one-to-one -one and group coaching. Oh, and, and you know, and then I start writing books and doing all these things myself. So, you know, and articles and speaking. I do a lot of speaking. I do a lot of media. I became part of this show and I do another show on the Women's Information Network. I just kept following my dreams and I just kept doing whatever it took to get my name out there and really build that business. So, uh now, I don't know if I should ask you this, don't go you, ahead, Ned, go but ahead. Uh, how has your marketing changed over the course of your career? How, you know, because I would are say that I used to be much more in the traditional forms of marketing, which mm -hmm. was one of the topics I covered here in the last 12 months to know the different, you know, what you should know be before you should, before you abandon traditional for 21st century marketing. And I would say that in the last two years, I have really incorporated a lot more online stuff, starting with the e-zine and then, um, you know, the special announcements, the videos, um, you know, and I'm going more and more into that. I'm also looking at developing a product line with an online course. So um, I would say that that's become a, a something I had to get on board with very quickly and learn very quickly. And it was challenging for me at first yeah. because I wasn't taught that when I took my, I mean, I'm a graduate of no, marketing No, because things are changing. You no, have to stay on top of it. No, never me that. Right? Never. And the, your clients can take advantage of the fact that you're staying on top of all this stuff, right? And learned it really quickly and implemented it to the ninth myself. I mean, I've paid, I have every aspect of online stuff now incorporated into my own. Okay. Yeah. All right, I still got a couple of questions. Okay, but go, we go. Gotta as long do this as we quickly, have time. But what was your favorite magnetic marketing moment over the past year? The, my and favorite why? Yeah. was the TIFF, going to TIFF. And um, learning from the red carpet, lessons from the red carpet, what Hollywood can teach you about promoting your business, getting into that ET Canada party, talking with Will I Am and and um, Kanon and Fifi Dawson and Lyric Bent and standing right behind Rosie at a ET Canada on that red carpet, that was the highlight of my year. And in addition to that, the checking out the um, the scam, uh, well, it wasn't really a scam, it was a publicity stunt about um, the boss, uh, Bruce Springsteen, who was supposed to be at the Horseshoe Tavern, and I hung out with all the other media people waiting for them, and we had a great lesson there about publicity and publicity stunts. What, it was stunts. a fake rumor? It was a fake rumor. It was, a, it was, you know, I did this, this, I presented it, and there's a video on it from the show from the last 12 months about all the lessons you could learn from Hollywood and that was a great one publicity stunt and also I went to the CNE and brought all those lessons about you know why, why the CNE Canadian National Exhibition is so successful and I think the strongest point there was about adding value mm -hmm. and me I add value in everything I do because I really believe in giving and I really believe in interfacing with people and getting them to know you and building those relationships. So that was my absolute favorite magnetic marketing moment of the 12 that I did this year. Yeah, that was fun.
It was different. great. Although I can't I, wait to do I something like that again. I understand the TIFFs had to uh, change all their security policy as a result of your appearance last year. Oh, uh, really? <laughs> <laughs> do you know how many more media people I'm now buddies with because of that? I'll be there this year with Bells on. Who's can't Bells wait. on? He's, I always hear about I this guy. I can't wait to be the, the representative of that <laughs> channel again. <laughs> okay. Well, we've already talked about how things change and, you know, the Internet's come along. You didn't have the internet when you were writing up your first sales uh, slip, no, right? I didn't have Jeanette? it when I started primetime PR either. Yeah. So what's next for what's you next for and, and uh, your marketing magnet? Okay. Well, for right now, what's next is I really want to get that group coaching femtour circle, not just in one group in the Midtown area. I want it all over the GTA, four different groups. And then I want to take it and turn it into a two day intensive or a one day intensive and take it straight across all the major cities in Canada to reach more women. And then I want to develop an online version of it and I want to create some more books and products. So that's, that's my next two year plan. Okay. And then after that, I don't know, I think maybe, um, I would like to see myself be in a position where, you know, I'll never be able to stop working because even when I was in my sickest moments, I was lying in bed and I was writing my, my website mm -hmm. and, and the doctors were after me and saying, you got to stop girlfriend. You got to, you know, you got to take this down a notch and just re relax. So I guess I have to learn more of that. Um, the other thing for me is to make sure I have personal fulfillment because I didn't get that. Mm -hmm. Um, I always wanted that and I never got it like the other half of my life. So that's and, coming and, up. Well, I hope so. God knows I tried enough to make it work. Well, I thought you, uh, I am now, but, but I'm saying like over the years, I had a lot of, uh, relationships disintegrate due to the fact that I was an ambitious woman and I wanted success and I wanted to build it from scratch. And sometimes when you're with ambitious men, yeah. they don't, uh, they don't, they are threatened by yeah, it. Yeah. They don't like it. They, they don't want, that they want somebody who's just going to stay at home and kind of do what they say and be on the back and call. And I wasn't that kind of gal, yeah. you know, so um, my personal life kind of suffered a little bit. But now it's going to be great because it's well, all about balance. So. It's yes. Right? Balance is key. I do make time for myself. I do go to the gym mostly every day now. So, you know, and try and, and cut my work hours off at, by six o'clock. Yeah. And that's go good. Take me time. Me time. Yeah. Great, Jeanette. So okay. we're just, that's it. We, uh, any final words? Or, well, or we've um, got to give out your contact info yes, and stuff. Yes, my contact info is 905-882-6893, extension 1. My website is www.yourmarketingmagnet.com. I want to help every woman lead and succeed in their marketplace. I want you to choose imitation over innovation, and I want you to learn from my mistakes, and I want you to create the financial autonomy from your dreams that you need and get the support that you need. So that's what I'm about, and that's why I want to work with you one-to-one -one in a group so you can have the best life possible for yourself and your children. Um, I have my giveaway today, one complimentary session of choice um, on the Magnetic Marketing Femtour Circle, which is listed on my site under Work with Jeanette, the Magnetic Marketing Femtour Circle. You can choose whichever um, session you like up until September, and you can come for free, and it's worth $199 plus HST to the first caller in at 416-204. 9723. 9723. Okay. There you go. There you and, go. But this is not guys can't call. It's only women, right? It's Fem Tour. For now. But in the future, because, you know, the next wave in the, in the feminist movement is to align both win, women and men. In the future, I'm going to find a way to bring it all together. Okay. Okay. Well, so I'm not excluding men. I like men. Let's get that straight. <laughs> as those Club Med pictures. Oh, ah, yeah. Indicate. That, okay. <laughs> okay, Jeanette. That's great. So, uh, yourmarketingmagnet.com. Thanks, Jeanette. Thank and, you. And I'm just going to say, for people that, are, that just watched and listened to all that, if, if you're resonating with Jeanette, give her a call and uh, get her to get your marketing straightened out because uh, she's, uh, you got that, all that fabulous experience. Thank you. And you know what? Coming here once a month and sharing it in the magnetic marketing moment has, has been also a real thrill for me because not just because I'm reaching other women and or people even you know anybody can watch those videos and benefit from them men or women in business but it was also the realization of a dream for me and that was to pursue this media side that I'd always been behind the camera and yeah. I wanted to be in front of it yeah. my mother always said Jeanette you should have been a journalist yeah. and I took the course and I thought you know what I learned it uh, you know it's 
PR is a converse of journalism. And now I'm here and I'm a recognized media person and it's like a dream come true. So okay. I want to thank you for making that happen. My pleasure, Janet. Okay. Okay. So let's, um, let's uh, carry on with the more media stuff because we're going to take a little break now, but we're yeah. going to come back with Marsha Engel. Yes. A creator of Amazing Women's Day. She's yes. here all the way from L.A., right? Yes, she just flew in this just morning. Just flew in from L.A. So, so we're here uh, for, and let the party continue. The first year anniversary online party well, we, will continue. We, we better pass these. Uh, yes, we're going to pass them around. These uh, okay. cupcakes around. Okay. okay, so let's do okay. that. We'll come back with Marsh Engel right okay. after this. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye.